Today, we are wrapping up our Beyond the Destruction series, marking 10 years since the Moore tornado in 2013. Shortly after our Dana Hurtnicki arrived on scene on May 20th, she tweeted out this photo of the Moore Medical Center. It was shared around the world. Today, 10 years later, she talks to a new nurse who was there that day. Surveillance video from inside Moore Medical Center captures the moment the EF-5 tornado hit. I think that was probably the hardest moment in my nursing career. By this time, Stephanie Gerke and her fellow doctors and nurses had already moved patients into the inner parts of the hospital. We made sure that they were okay first. Um, we, like I said, you know, made sure they were covered in blankets and pillows and, um, you know, if they needed medications, we tried to make sure to get all that done before it was like truly bearing down on us. And they were hunkered down behind a tiny nurse's desk. That was the first time that I, I feared for like, my, for my children. Like I was worried like, oh gosh, I'm gonna leave them without a mom. We started making, making a line over to more medical center as fast as we could. And we were astonished, um, breathless, uh, prayerful, all the way here, watching this big cloud of destruction move across where we knew more medical center sat. Richie Split had just started as CEO. We were grateful to learn that the 400 plus people, minor injuries to a few of them, no lost lives, and uh, just the miracle that occurred on that day. Within six months, Norman Regional had this temporary hospital up and running. We had uh, full service ER, full service lab, full service imaging. Three years later, Norman Regional opened a brand new Moore Hospital built in the exact same location. Part of it is, is the history. It's the tradition of that Moore Medical Center was here and the, all the hope that the facility represented before the tornado and then the representation of hope afterwards and the healing that followed. But there are still reminders of that terrible day, a flag that was found across the street and a sculpture out front made from 2,000 prismatic crystals, a symbol of strength and moving forward. We met all the standards all around. It's and perhaps most importantly, the new hospital has a tornado shelter. I couldn't even let like my family know that I was okay. Stephanie so kind of did this me. interview in just about the exact same place where she was working the ER on May 20th. Can you believe it's been 10 years? Not at all. <laughs> She's back working in the ER now, the only ER nurse from May 20th who's still here, but says she never thought about going anywhere else. In more, Dana Hurtnicky, Oklahoma Zone News 9.